other day. We saw Daz Layden, we saw James Richardson. They faced off a couple of days ago in Tom's big knockout event. Eventually won by Martin Hennigan, who did dispatch James Richardson in the semi-final. But it was such a good game. We thought, let's have it all again, shall we? This time it is in a Premier League setting. So it's not knockout tournament. It's part of the Isolation League. And we're going to have six legs today, whether it's 6-0, 5-1, um, whatever the case, we are going to see all six legs played in true fashion, true league fashion, which is like they used to do in the olden days, actually, for the PDC Premier League. All of the legs will be played regardless. But now, as we know, it's very much first to seven. Hope you're doing fine. Hope you're enjoying yourself, whatever you're doing and wherever you are. As I say, my name is Robbie. I'm going to talk you through this one. Well, I've already seen James Richardson, by the way, pinning in. Ton 80, ton 40. He leaves himself 1-2-1 one, one and uh, hasn't quite managed to... Uh, 100. Yeah, and a lovely ton there from Daz to leave him on a Shanghai, but 32, double 16. Shouldn't be any issues for James Richardson, who was in some brilliant form the other day. And there we go, third dart of asking, double 8 it was. And straight away, James Richardson is on the board. A lot of respect between these two players. Daz Layden always finds a way of saying, you know, well played, good dart, etc. FYI, um, of the people playing in this league, 19 in total, if I'm not oh, mistaken. Yeah, 19. James Richardson is top of the table. He's won nine of his 12 games. And Daz Layden is fifth in the table as well. You may, if you've been watching, you've just seen Leonard Gates of the USA, one of USA's finest well, players. Five. He's currently 12th in the league of 19. As we see the second 180 of the match for James Richardson. And two ton plus um, scores as well for Daz Layden. This is a good leg for him. 140. Well, there you go. Three ton plus visits. 95 and 180 for James Richardson. Ton, ton, five, ton, 40 for Daz Layden. Oh, blimey. <laughs> and just as I was bigging up Daz Layden, who could well go out here and needs a treble, another treble 20 if that one's already in. If that's in, if it's in, 100. it wasn't, but he tees up 56. If he's back, James Richardson is on 11 data. Oh, and he gets an 11 data. Absolutely sensational. Couple of ton 80s and 95 to start things off there in that leg as well from James Richardson. Really good leg from Daz Layden, whose lowest score was 100. But what can you do against 11 darters? 11 darters really are the best of the best in this sport. And uh, averaging <laughs> just a small 111 at the moment. 100. Daz Layden doing a little wrong. 103 average for him. I'll get the full stats up on my screen. Give you the fully up to date. 102.89 plays 110 average. Crazy stuff indeed. But these short formats do allow for big, big, big averages. 97. So I'd like to I'd like to see a nice close get three all. That'll be good, wouldn't it? And a ton, 97 ton for Daz Layden, who's smidging ahead. But obviously James with the darts in this leg. And two beautiful treble 19s there. That leaves him on 117. 85. And that does leave Daz on a finish as well. Similar finishes, in fact, only two in it. And Daz is going to get a shot at this 119. Oh, needed a treble there for a dart at tops. 59. And both. 
100. Eighty. Eighty. Sixty. Now, Reagan, this first leg on the board. Doing a fine job to leave 91 after nine. He himself is on 11 data. Now I was raving about James doing it. Oh, that is not in, but 12 is on. Uh, and <clears throat> leaves tops perfectly there after 12. And James, very rarely for James, is quite a way back. 210 James is. Yeah, there we go. And a very well-deserved leg there by Daz Layden. Takes the fourth leg. 3-1. Needs to win the next two if he's going to tie this one. There are going to be two more legs regardless of who gets them. Could be 5-1. Could be 3 all. And uh, not the best leg there for James Richardson. Quickly amends it. Pins in a 140. Stellar stuff. 100. There you go. Look at these tons. Nine tons for Daz Layden versus two for James. Obviously, we've got those three 91. ton 80s and the ton 40 as well. But his switching's been good. Switching's been very good. 95s, 91s. Rubbish. 59. And James might get a ton here. He'll, he'll want to get a ton. Well, he'll want a bit more than that, but we'd love to see a 170, wouldn't we? Oh, and he's teed it up. I think he can hear me. Are we going to see the big fish? We saw Mensa Sulevic do it today oh, against awesome. Michael Van Gogh in the final of the Autumn Series third event. Oh, that's one. Is that so? Is it two? If it is, it's the ball. Oh, I think it was. Sixty. And no treble there to put the pressure on for Daz Layden, so plenty of time. And he actually hit the bullseye, and he's missed a double four. This will be great from Daz. This will be very good from Daz. One, four, two. Not going to go now with that single 20. So then three Thank darts you. at double four for James Richardson. Well, that's pretty good teeing up there from Daz. But it means nothing in the end as James Richardson pins in double two. Daz liked it. I caught, did as well. Daz did a good job to leave around 50. And by around, don't mean approximately. I mean yeah. around 50. One four, and there you go. So James is going to be winning this match. But Daz... We we'll want to get the next leg. Well, uh, you know, we never want to lose, but you'd rather lose 4 2 than 4 1. 1 4 sir. And that is 2 1 40s for Daz Layden. Um. Oh, is he going to make it three on the bounce? Two tons for James, two ton 40s for Daz. One, three, seven. Oh, it's not a 140, but it's a similar score. One, three, seven. Isn't this brilliant? Isn't this brilliant? This is what I love. Quick fire darts. Quick fire, high quality darts. Didn't need to go 14 bull. Oh, he's bust his score. Is that 20 and 4 16? Oh, Daz. Not. Have a look on the official PDC Twitter account after this. There were two cases of things similarly happening to that. Dave Chisnell and Ross Smith, I think it was. Yeah, I mean, so... Oh, and exactly hey, that happened. Like Chisnell had friend. a couple of darts yeah, with Trouble yeah. 19, Fallout, know, hit Trouble 3, know, then know, checks out. Ross Smith did something similar, and Daz Layden did that. Boss 84, 84 yeah. in two. Hang on. Brilliant stuff there from the internet. Let's just see what they've got to say. Technology with me. Shocking. <laughs> that's oh, it. Don't worry about that. 
<laughs> hey, well played, Rabbit. Hey, I'll tell you what, my old lad. Absolute superstar you are. Brilliant lad. I've got respect in all for you, my old lad. Good lad. Win, lose, or draw. Good, good attitude. It's good to see you, Bobby. I love you, yeah? Cheers, <laughs> Dad. All right, Bobby. Take care. See you later. Yeah. Cheers. Now, I love that. I love that. Isn't Daz the sportsman? He could have lost 6-0 there and he'd be saying the exact same thing. He wants to put on a show and a show he did. Look at those averages. 99 and a half for Daz Layden. And he still lost that one 4-2. James was averaging 111, something ridiculous like that at the beginning of this. Naturally, fritters down a little bit as, uh, as, as such. But the uh, <laughs> first nines... Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff indeed. The legs that Daz did win were better than the legs that James won. But I think James had a really flying start, so he could afford to go off the boil for the two legs that Daz won. Actually, that's probably a bit disrespectful to Daz, because the two legs he did win, he was getting 180s, he was getting 140s. It was good. It was real, real good indeed. I don't think I need to talk about the stats. Have a look. Daz was heavier in many of the stats. Um, not the 180s, though. Not the 180s, indeed. And, of course, not the legs, which is the all-important stat. I really enjoyed that one. I hope you did as well. I've got one more game coming up very, very shortly. Is it going to have commentary? guess you'll have to find out pretty soon. The next one I've been watching. Oh, here we go. I've been given, ah, uh -huh, I've been given the stream games. Darren Armstrong, Steve Hine, that's the eight, other 845, but the two next, Daz Layden and da Danny Van Treep, Michael Paul and Darren Armstrong. That's all on the invitation, uh, which well, I found it on the, uh, on the one of the Facebook groups, so go and have a look. But do stay tuned because we've got lots more darting entertainment for you. High quality. If you thought that was high quality, this is a pretty good marker. Well, in terms of standard, anyway. I've been Robbie Dove. Till the next one, tatty bye.